Hello. For this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your FPS counter for Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, so Resident Evil 2 Remake requires you to have your FPS showing on PC when you're playing, and it requires it to be capped at 120 or 60 FPS, depending on the category you're playing. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll show you how to cap it at 60 FPS, because I'm in a further tutorial, I will be making a Leon A standard 60 FPS routing and beginner-friendly strat tutorial. So first, to set up your FPS, on Steam, go to your Steam page and the Steam page, go to the top left, and then go to settings. And then you'll act, it'll start you out on an account, but then you'll go to in-game, and then you'll see an in-game FPS counter. Click on that and set it to wherever you want, as long as it remains visible while you're recording. And then I have it on high contrast. So next, when we're in Resident Evil 2, as you can see, I have my in-game FPS counter shown in the top right corner. Yours might be a bit smaller. I've changed the font size. Uh, if you Google how to change the font size for the in-game FPS counter, you can find a Steam page that will show you that. Um, I'll try to find the link and post it in the description. Next, I go to Options. Um, my volume is turned off right now. You do need your game volume on, so let's turn that on a bit. Alright, so we go to our Options, our Graphics, and then we'll go down here, and you'll see Frame Rate is 60. So you can have it on Variable but that will bring you to above 60 potentially. Or if you want to do 120, usually you do variable and then use a different program to cap to 120. But for this tutorial, just set it to 60. And now your FPS counter is capped at 60. Uh, the next part of this tutorial will show you how to set up live split and then the, it'll show you how to split, set the splits that I personally use for Leon A standard. All right, so next we set up the live split. This is for PC only since the consoles don't have a, an auto splitter. So after the download and live split, we're going to click on it, right click on it, and go to edit splits. And then this is going to pop up. Next, we type in the name of the game we want, Resident Evil 2. Click on the arrow key and go to 2019. Next, we're going to name this LAS60. And then we're going to make sure that you activate the load, the auto splitter. And then you go to settings. And so now we're going to click exactly which ones we want to use. So storage key, spade key, club key, parking garage key card, unicorn medallion, maiden medallion, lion medallion, main hall fuse, break room hallway, large gear, small gear, electronic A, electronic B, rook, queen, king, bishop, dispersal cartridges, the general staff and the senior staff. This is the level two and the level three band. Our events are reach the RPD, reach the secret room, reach the parking garage, back on the streets. We're gonna ignore the sewers because this split is bugged uh, for Leon. A to start, A to end, rescued A to G3 complete, end scenario. And then we'll grab detonators, mechanical handle, the square crank, the valve handle, the T-bar, the signal modulator, and the joint plug. And now what you do is you just put them in the order that we need to get them. So next, first is gas station. Enter RPD. Spade key. Line medallion. The valve. Main hall fuse. The dead detonator. The live detonator. The unicorn medallion. The maiden medallion. The secret room. Parking garage. The crank. Electronic piece A. The second fuse, so the break room fuse. The big gear. The club key. The mechanical handle.
the small gear. Electronic part B. The key card. And this is leaving the RPD. Ada starts. Ada ends. The T bar handle. The rook plug. Queen plug. Oops, wrong button. The king plug. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Bishop plug. This is rescued Ada. That's after you kill G2. Now this is the level 2 band. That's the one that's called general band. This is the empty dispenser. The solution. The signal modulator. The herbicide. The level 3 band. G3 is dead. The joint plug. And the super tyrant. And that's the final boss for Leon A. Now, you want to also make sure that you're comparing against game time and personal best. So to do that, we right-click on this, and we go compare against personal best and game time. That will make sure that the timer stops when the menu is paused on cutscenes, so that you know what it's doing. Now, your layout won't look like this. I've got my layout set up differently. But something that's really important is this detailed timer. So this is the one that shows the small timer with the big timer. And so it'll let you see exactly like on how on pace you are and allow you to compare against other people who have the detailed timer as well. So that's how you set up the basics and then you can find what you like the most. I use the current pace and also best possible time so I can see where my time saves are. And I know I also have an idea for my total possible time saves and my time saves for the current segment. So that I have a good idea of where I can start saving some time and where my all my time saves are. This part of the tutorial will help you install the Speedrunners tool. So first we're going to go to this website. I'll put the link in the description. That will bring you to your the Speedrunner tool plugin manager. So we're going to click on the zip file down here and download. Once that's download, bring it to wherever you want it to be. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And then we're going to extract it. Once that's extracted, we're going to open it and then run the plugin manager itself. You may see an error from Windows, but you can just accept it because it's just Windows being a bit finicky. So next we're going to install the SRT host. Under the SRT host tab on the left. Once that's installed, we're going to go down here and we're going to find Resident Evil 2 Remake under supported games. Click on that and install the current plugin. Once that plugin is installed, there's two ways that we can go about doing this. The first one I'm going to show you is with the JSON, which will allow you to capture the information in a browser source and put it on your OBS where you want it. So we're going to install the UI JSON extension. The WebSocket extension uses a lot of bandwidth because it sends it to an external server. So use this if you have like a multi-streaming PC setup and you want to have the information uh, from your gaming PC sent to your streaming PC. So once that's done, we can go down here to widgets and we'll see the stats URL. So I'm going to copy the stats URL and post it here. Next, I'm going to run my Resident Evil 2. Once that's running, we're going to pull up the plugin manager and we're going to start the SRT host. So we're going to go find supported games, go down to Resident Evil 2 remake and we're going to start SRT. So now that's started. We can open this and you see that we have our stats. To show you that it's working, I'm going to load one of my save files. It 
So here I am on Leon, and now we can see that I have a full health. It's been two minutes. Um, you'll be able to read these when you have it in a browser source because they're in white code, and so you can't really read it that well. But you see your DA rank, your DA rank score. Um, if I were to go back to widgets and copy the inventory and post that, you'll see that we have the inventory here as well. Now the other option, after exiting Resident Evil 2, the other option is to have the SRT show up directly in-game. Now to do that, we open the SRT plugin manager, go to user interfaces, Resident Evil 2 Remake Direct X, and install that plugin. So after installing that plugin, we can restart Resident Evil 2, and we can run the SRT host again. So we go back to supported games, find the Resident Evil 2 Remake, and start the SRT. And now you see in the top left, we have our IGT, our health bar, our DA score, our rank, and our enemy HP. But one of the things that it defaults to, though, is no inventory shown. So for example, if I loaded a save, you can see that we don't have the inventory shown on screen. So to fix that, uh, usually you can stop the SRT, but I, when you exit out, it stops the SRT as well. So I'm going to quit out of Resident Evil 2. And then we're going to go back to where we installed our plugin manager. Go to Plugins, Resident Evil 2 Direct X Overlay. And you'll see this, it'll be a CFG file, which is a configuration file. So we can open that, and where it says no inventory, we're going to go false. We're going to save that. Now, we can start Resident Evil 2 up again. Start the SRT again. And then we're going to load a game, and now our inventory is showing. I hope this tutorial helped you figure out how to install the SRT, the live split, and get your FPS set up properly. And if there are any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them as quick, quickly as possible. Thank you.